So in this video, what are the topics that we are going to discuss here is what exactly the 3D transformation is. If you want to know about the 3D rotation, first of all, you have to you have to get an idea what exactly the 3D transformation is. Okay, because rotation is one of the technique of the transformation. So we will see different types of the 3D transformation in that one of the type is a rotation. So what exactly the 3D rotation is and rotation about axis. So 3D means it will be coming on XYZ plane. So XYZ plane means uh, we, ha we have to know about uh, the different axis rotation, X, X rotation, Y rotation and Z rotation. Okay, and finally we will see one example problem. So at the end of this video, you'll get a complete clarity on what exactly the 3D rotation is, right? Okay, so first of all, what is a 3D transformation? You all know that transformation is nothing but changing an object size or the position or shape, whatever it may be. Okay, we are trying to change the exact uh, the picture into a different type. So one thing we have to remember that a transformation can be applied only on the existing object only, okay, which is going to modify and changing the position of an existing object. A 3D transformation is going to manipulate the view of a 3D object, okay, it is going to try to change the view of a 3D object uh, based on its original position, remember that. We have to consider the original position, original object. Uh, coordinates based on that coordinates only we are trying to modify the object uh, size or it may be the position or uh, a different thing so by simply applying a different techniques like transform uh, translation rotation scaling sharing reflection etc okay so that is exactly the 3d transformation the 3d transformation is going to manipulate the view of a 3d object remember that point so in the example, you can see the 3D object. This is a cube uh, which is uh, present on the 3D plane. A different types of transformations uh, in computer graphics are so the translation, scaling, rotation, sharing and the reflection. So these are all the different types of techniques that can be modify the object size or modifying, modifying the object. Okay, modifying the object. So now let's see what exactly the 3D rotation is. 3D rotates, rotation. It is going to rotate the object of an angle in three-dimensional environment. When we are talking about the rotation, we have to know about the angle. How much angle the object is going to be rotated. Either it is rotating in a clockwise direction or at anti-clockwise direction. So whether it is rotating on 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 113, 112, say anything, how much angle it is going to be rotated. So 3D rotation rotates the object based on the angle in three dimension environment. A 3D rotation deals with three axes because we are working on the 3D. So whenever we are working on the 3D means you have to know the X, Y, Z axis. So it is going to deals with the three axes like X, Y and Z. It is not the same as a 2D rotation. Why it is not same as a 3D rotation? Because here the objects can rotate an object parallel to the specific axis so that the coordinates where the object rotates remains unchanged and the remaining two are get changed. Whereas there is a opposite. So that is why it is not same as a 2D rotation. So here in the 3D rotation, Whatever the axis that object is rotating, that axis remains same. It is not changing the coordinates. It is not changing its coordinates. Only the remaining two that is going to change us. There are three kinds of such rotations are possible. Rotation about X axis, Y axis and Z axis. So if you consider the rotation of uh, about X axis, here the X coordinate remains same, unchanged. That is what I am saying. X is same. And the remaining whatever the Y and Z are going to be changed. Okay. So the, here the X, X coordinates X axis means X remains changed. And the remaining Y and Z is going to be uh, uh, sorry unchanged. X remains unchanged. And whereas Y and Z are going to be changed. So uh, rotation about X axis means it's parallel to the X axis. Rotation about Y axis. Here the Y coordinates remain same unchanged y is same and whereas x and z are going to be changed and it rotates parallel to y axis y about y axis means it parallel to y axis and rotation about z axis here the z is remains unchanged that is z is same 
whereas x and y are change and it rotates parallel to the z axis so one po one point you have to be remember that rotation angle is anti clockwise uh, suppose if a rotation angle in anti clockwise direction then it, we have to consider it as a positive anti clock means you have to consider it as a positive whereas a clockwise rotation means you have to consider it as a negative see anti means here the positive and uh, clockwise means negative so first let's discuss about the rotation about x axis how the object is going to be rotate about x axis and what matrix we need to be considered okay so here the x coordinate remains unchanged and the rest two are going to be changed it rotates parallel to the x axis right so let's consider the initial coordinates of an object whatever it is present already is x y z in a 3d plane and it rotates parallel to the x axis so the new coordinates are p dash x dash y dash z dash so here x will be the same so x dash is equal to x only only the y dash is going to be changed and z dash is going to be changed so a rotation matrix is used to calculate the new position coordinates p dash is 1 0 0 0 0 cos theta sin theta 0 0 minus sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 0 1 where theta is the rotation angle i already said the rotation is based on the angle it is based on the angle so this is a cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta this is a matrix representation suppose if you consider uh, x axis right so what i said uh, the p dash that's a new coordinates is equal to the old coordinates into rotation along x axis parallel to the x axis means you have to consider the rx so xn is no change xn is equal to x not a only because rotation about x axis no change in x coordinate whereas yn is equal to the formula is old coordinate of y into cos the cos y not cos theta minus z not sin theta and zn is equal to y not sin theta plus z not cos theta so here p dash is a new coordinate positions of the old one so see here this is a human eye according x axis so it's observing here this is your original triangle okay so it is going to be rotate like this the object is going to be rotated towards x axis parallel to the x axis this is x right so the x axis it's rotate parallel to the x axis it is not rotating this side it is rotating this side parallel to the x axis so rotation about the y axis here the y coordinates remains unchanged and the rest of the two x and z is going to be changes so it rotates parallel to the y axis it's just rotating parallel to the y axis the homogeneous coordinate means the matrix representation of here is cos theta 0 minus sin theta 0 0 1 0 0, 0 sin theta 0 cos theta 0 0 0 1 so where theta is the rotational angle so in the same way whatever the rotation about x axis here in the y axis also considered a new uh, initial coordinates that is the original coordinate on 3d plane and rotate parallel to the y axis let's rotate to the parallel to the y axis then find the new coordinates p dash is equal to p into ry so here the y remains same only yn is equal to y not only but xn is x0 cos theta plus z0 sin theta and zn is z0 cos theta minus x0 sin theta okay so this see here what i said it's a parallel to y axis parallel to y axis this is your object original uh, object which is present on the this y direction so it has to be rotated parallel to the y axis the object is rotating like this parallel to y axis and coming to the rotation about z z axis here the z coordinates remains unchanged and the rest two is going to be uh, changes x y is going to be changed and z remains the same so this is a homogeneous coordinate representation that is a matrix representation theta is the rotational angle in the same way if you consider an initial coordinates is p x y z in the 3d rotational plane which is a rotate parallel to z axis so these are the new coordinates along z so here uh, z remains the same zn is equal to z not only then coming to xn is 
x naught cos theta minus y naught sin theta and y n is equal to x naught sin theta plus y naught cos theta. Okay, then you will get a new few new coordinates. So see here, this is a human eye. If you are seeing here, this is your object which is present at the z coordinate side. So it has to be rotated parallel to the z. So this is a parallel to the z. This is not parallel. This is not the parallel is this only. So this is rotated parallel to the z. Now let's see a problem. The same. So consider the same cube O A B C D E F. So it has the initial coordinates as O. It's uh, the origin is the same. So 0, 0, 0, 0. And these are the coordinates A, da, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. So we need to be find the new coordinates. How? Here rotates through 45 degrees. The object has to be rotated to the 45 degrees in anti-clockwise direction about the y-axis. So from y-axis, it has to rotate 45 degrees. Anti-clock. Anti-clock means I already said it is a positive, positive direction. So anti-clockwise direction. So see here. According to the question, rotate the uh, through 45 degrees in anti-clockwise direction about the y-axis means you have to consider the y-coordinates. Y, uh, rotate about y-axis. Rotate about y-axis. So what is the, uh, it's a rotation angle. So cos theta 0 minus sin theta 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, sin theta 0, cos theta 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Theta is the rotation angle. That means theta is equal to 45 degrees. That is nothing but 1 by root 2. Okay. If it is cos theta means, cos 45 degrees means 1 by root 2. Okay. 1 by root 2. As well as sin 45 degrees means 1 by root 2. So if you find, if you want to find the new coordinates of O dash after rotation, uh, O coordinates are 0, 0, 0, okay. And cos theta is 1 by root 2 minus sin theta is minus 1 by root 2 and sin theta is 1 by root 2, cos theta is 1 by root 2. So if you multiply this, you will get 0, 0, 0, 1, okay. The same coordinates, okay, whatever the origin coordinates are there. New coordinates of A dash, 0, 4, 0 is a A and if you apply this, you will get 0, 4, 0 only. Okay, the same coordinates because here you can see that the y coordinates remains unchanged. The y coordinates whatever here is remains unchanged. So here also y coordinates remains unchanged. The new coordinates of b dash. So if you have, uh, this is a b coordinates and if you apply the calculation you will get the new coordinates of like this b coordinates. And new coordinates of c dash after rotation. This is the c and if you apply the rotation t, uh, towards y axis, so these are the new coordinates of c dash. And this is the coordinates of d dash. So like this, e dash, f dash, the same calculation. So take the f values, the original coordinates and apply the scale, uh, rotation factor. Okay, then you will get a new coordinates. So this is a z coordinates. So if you do the calculations, 4 by root 2 means you will get 4 root 2. 0, 4 by root 2 minus 4 by root 2. Anyhow, it is 0, 4 root 2, 0, 0. Okay. So, a final cube after performing rotational transformation is like this. So, first, what will be the image previously? So, this is right. This is x, y and z. Okay. So, let's take this is your original cube. Okay. So, this is your original cube. So this is O and this is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. So see here, this one, this is your x-axis, right? This is your x-axis. It rotates towards y. The rotation is about y-axis, 45 degrees. So this is rotated about 45 degrees 45 degrees it is rotated 45 degrees it is rotated so whenever this is your x so see here your object is rotated 45 degrees 45 degrees out. so this g came here okay this g is came here and this e goes here this g if you see clearly 
this G came here and this E goes here because it is going to be rotated 45 degrees towards Y axis, towards Y axis. Okay. So this is how the object is going to be rotated uh, in a three by applying the 3D rotational transformation. So still if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.